America's universities used to be centers of free thought and open inquiry. That was the whole point of having them. That era is fading from memory, though. Today, schools exist to compel far-left orthodoxy, and dissent, any dissent, carries serious social, economic, and sometimes physical risks. Adam Kroll and Dennis Prager are not intimidated by any of this, though. They're two of the country's most aggressive defenders of free speech, and they've teamed up on a new documentary called No Safe Spaces. That film has a new trailer, and they've chosen to debut it on this program. We're flattered. We'll talk to them both in just a minute. But first, here's the trailer. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. You are not listening. I want your job to be taken from you. A protest has turned violent at California, Berkeley. This is why we're fighting for the soul of America. You should be able to share ideas without fear of being fired from your job or shouted down. You are not to be heard. This is one of the few things one could say we have no precedent for in the United States. You have the right to remain silent. The only way we separate the good ideas from the bad ideas is to be free to say whatever we want about them. Anything you say will be used against you. There's no free speech for fascists. Your posts on Facebook, Twitter, and social media will be saved to shame you. Kevin Hart has stepped down from hosting this year's Oscars. Anything you say that we don't like will be used to shut you up. You can't be funny. It's creating an atmosphere of fear and repression, and it's going to bust. You cannot think differently. It makes it difficult for you to learn from other people. Isn't it spooky you were having this discussion? You can't challenge us. Kids grew up dipped in Purell, playing soccer games where they never kept score. There is no debate. The type of diversity that they hate is diversity of thought. We reserve the right to be offended by everything. No university should ever create a safe space. You're not going to protect people. And so the best you can do is to make them strong. It bothers me for the young people who are being deprived of anything that could open their minds. You have the right to remain silent. Ah, it makes your heart pound. Adam Kroll and Dennis Prager join us tonight. Thank you both for coming on. Um, Adam, first to you. Do, do you spent a lot of time thinking about this subject, particularly as you made this film. Are, are you more hopeful or less at the end of it? I'm more hopeful because, uh, you know, we talk to our mutual friend, Dr. Drew, all the time, and I do a podcast with him, and he keeps saying, when is the pendulum going to swing back? And I said, not yet, for many years, but a few specials have come out. The Dave Chappelle special came out, Bill Burr, Comedians. Comedians are going to lead the charge. And those guys did stand up specials basically saying, screw you to the PC police. And that to me is an indicator, along with movies like this film, No Safe Spaces, that we're starting to swing back towards sanity. Man, I hope you're right. So, Dennis, for the average person watching this, and I think a lot of our viewers will watch this, I hope they will, and they'll have the same reaction I did, which is you could feel the blood pounding in your ears. What can they do? How can they advance the ball on free speech a little bit? I uh, divide good people into three groups. Those who fight, those who help the fighters, and those who do nothing. Unfortunately, throughout history, the third group is the largest. Yes. It's just a fact. I'm not happy about it, uh, but it's a fact. Those who help the fighters are as important as the fighters. So this film is in the fighting category. It's also in the entertaining category. It's, it's, you'll laugh and you'll cry both. Uh, but if you go to the film, believe it or not, that would be a huge thing. If this film is a big success, this is a message yeah. to Hollywood, this is a message to the universities. People need to know what is happening. As I have said uh, for uh, much of my career, sending your child to college is playing Russian roulette with their values. That's true. That is absolutely true. So, how, I mean, just to be, I'm, just, I want to openly promote this film. How, how will we be able to see this and when? It's coming out in uh, Phoenix on October 24th, and the first show is sold out, but there's going to be shows added. 
and if we can get enough people, I mean, the way the business works is if you can get enough people in early, then we can expand it throughout the nation. How, how have, I mean, you, you guys both live uh, out in California. T tell me, Adam, how, how have your friends, people you know, responded to your doing this? Let me, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, this, this may be almost out of line. I, I did not expect this film to be as excellent as it is. I thought it would be good. Uh, it's great. It's not great because I'm in it. Uh, it's great, and I'm in it. That's, no, it, it would be better without Dennis, that's for sure. Right, right. But, ne but it's nevertheless, it's great. Oh, yeah, in no, spite no, that's of the, you, that's, the that's how no, no, good it's important. is. Right. Yeah. He's kind of a sandbag to my gondola, but right. it's, I'm still soaring, is what he's saying. In fact, it's already prepared as an epitaph for me. Dennis Prager was a sandbag to Adam Carolla's gondola. Yeah. And my beautiful I'm, balloon. I'm impressed. Uh, yeah, so, you know the thing. This is a bipartisan. Uh, this is a bipartisan picture, and I've showed it to crowds and my fans and other people's fans, and it's it's equally balanced. There there are voices on the right, and voices on the left, and they all agree on on one thing, which is their voice. It's called voices on the right and voices on the left. We want our voices intact. This, by the way, is part of my thesis. This, this film proves a thesis of mine. There is a world of moral difference between left and liberal. We have a lot of liberals who are very worried about the suppression of free speech. It's, a it's one of the dividing lines, along with race. Uh, leftists believe in black dorms. Liberals do not believe in all black dorms. This right. free speech issue should be one of the great reasons why liberals are worried about the left. Well, that's right. I mean, we, we interview d decent people on the left, all the Glenn Greenwald, uh, you know, and, and many others on this show who are every bit as exercised uh, as anyone yes. in, uh, you know, who works here uh, about the lack right. of free speech. Um, are there comedians, do you think, apart from Dave Chappelle, who are the people who are going to be leading the renaissance of free speech? Uh, other than the comedians, I think many podcasters, I think, are, are Dave Rubens, obviously. Yeah. Oh, he's asking actually about comedians. Are there other comedians other than Chappelle? Oh, yeah. are there comedians? Other than you, obviously. Well, there's me, there's Chappelle. I mean, there's, uh, here's what comedians do. Comedians hit a saturation point and then they push back. I mean, consistently throughout society, that's what they do. And all the right. comedians I know have been hearing this pablum that's been spoon-fed to them with safe spaces and huggy-bookies and, and, you know, uh, the PC police, and it's all just been percolating inside them, and then we vomit out the truth at some point. So many comedians I know who were frightened four or five years ago to yeah. speak about certain subjects are now wanting to sort of come back with a vengeance the I other direction. Right. I think you, you guys like Jimmy Dore on the left, you know, I don't, I don't know what else we agree on, but I mean, I think there are people like that who are totally sick of this, clearly totally sick of it. It is a kind of tyranny. And thank you both for fighting back against it. This, this film is out later thank this you. month, and I hope that all of our viewers will watch it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Doug.